Thanks for joining us on our math lesson today. Everyone say hello. Hello. Let's do our meditation. Think about a hot center. That's right. Good job, friends. Feel for boom, 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 in your heart center. Move your right hand to your left. Let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One. Two. And our last one, three. Slowly start to wiggle your toes. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers. Slowly open your eyes. Let's begin our math lesson. For this lesson, we'll be reviewing different units of time. So we'll do a refresher of minutes and hours and seconds. We'll also start to look at days of the week. And eventually, we'll move into talking about months of the year, days in a year. So we'll start reviewing some of those things now. And our next few lessons, we'll cover them as well. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to talk about time again, but we're going to think about it in a little bit different way. We're going to think about it a little bit differently today. So if we think of our hours as being a long line, starts at 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no 13. Why don't we have a 13? Good. The clock stops right at 12. 12 is our highest number we have on the clock. Good thinking, friends. How many times does the clock go around? How many hours do we have in a day? Twenty-four hours, and the outside goes by fives. That's cool. And we have twenty-four hours in a day, so we see our clock go through our hours two times, right? We see our clock spin around two times in one day. <gasps> Extra twelve. Oh, let's get rid of that twelve. Good eye, friend. Yeah, that's right. So we have two different colors here to stand for what letters? AM and PM. We'll put that up here. AM and PM. Good job remembering, friends. We've got AM and PM. 
the very early morning, usually when we're asleep, that 12 turns over and that's when our AM starts. And our PM starts in the afternoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our PM goes into the afternoon, the evening, and the nighttime. So when we're asleep, it turns into AM. When we go to school, it's still AM. When we're eating lunch, it's still AM a little bit, turning into afternoon. And then our PM begins with our afternoon, our evening, and our nighttime. And it goes in a big circle so that we have it happening again and again and again. And like our friends were counting, sometimes people do count the hours in PM as 13, 14, 15, all the way to 24. But the numbers we see on a clock are just up to 12. So you can think of it two different ways. You can think of the numbers going to 24, or you can think of it as two circles of 12. So in the morning, when we are just waking up, and it's morning, where's the sun? Yeah, it's kind of low to the ground. It's just starting to come up. Is it light or dark? Light, light. The sky, is it light or dark? Light, dark. It's kind of both, right? It's when it changes. It's kind of changing from light to dark. So our sun is still very low. It's coming up. It's giving all of its light to the world. So when it's dark, we can't see it. Then it grows a little bit, and we can start seeing the light. What's next? Afternoon. Afternoon. When does our afternoon change? Good, when our sun is up high in the sky. And we sometimes call this time, 12 p.m., we sometimes call that noon. 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 So that's sometimes why we say afternoon. Our afternoon, afternoon. is kind of after 12 o'clock or afternoon. So where is our sun by that point? Up high. Yeah, our sun is up high in the sky, shining all of its light down for us. It starts low in the morning. It gets higher and higher and higher in the sky. And evening, what happens in evening? Yeah, it starts going back down low. It starts getting a little darker. And it's starting to be time for us to go to sleep. Yeah, the sun is down here again. It's getting darker. So we've got our sun starting low in the morning, in the a.m. It goes up higher and higher during the day, in the afternoon. And then it starts to go down. And what comes out at nighttime? Stars and moon. Do we see the sun at nighttime? No. No, that sun's gone away. Is it light or dark at nighttime? It's dark. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. We can't see very much. It's very dark. We've got the moon and the stars out at nighttime. So in the morning, the sun is low. It's AM. Afternoon. Afternoon. It's higher. We eat our lunch. And that's when it turns to PM. Then in the evening, that sun starts to go back down. And it becomes nighttime when we don't see our sun at all anymore. OK? okay. Okay, we're going to start to think about the relationship between different units of time. And we're going to move on and do a little bit of this later in some of our other lessons. But it's a good idea to get those numbers in our head now. So how many seconds do we have in one minute? How many? 55. What have we been counting to? 60. 60. We've been counting to 60. So we have 60 seconds in one minute. 
Let's do that in red. How many minutes are in one hour? Good. One hour is 60 minutes. Are those the same numbers? Yeah. yeah. 60 seconds is one minute. 60 minutes is one hour. 24 hour is one day. Good, that's what's next. How many hours in one day? 24. 24, 24. 24. 24 hours in our day. 48. How many days do we have in one week? Seven. Seven. What do you think? Five or seven? Seven. Yeah, we have seven days in one week. Usually five of those days we go to school and two days we don't. Do you know how many weeks in one month? Weeks. How many weeks are there? Friends? How many days in a week? How many days are in a week? Seven days in one week? So think about in one month, how many weeks do we have? Four. Yeah, we usually have about four, sometimes a little more, but usually it's around four, a little more than four. So we generally think about having four weeks in one month. How many days do we usually have in one month? One month. In one month, how many days do we usually have? 30. Yeah, around 30. Around 30, 31. And this month, we only have 28. It's a short month. And it's 29. And it's a short month. Good. How many months do we have in one year? One year? Mm-hmm. Good thinking, friends. Is that days or months? That we have 365. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking in the right track. So we have 12 months in our year. And our friends are right. We have about 365 days in our whole year. Is that a long time? Mm -hmm. So we have 12 months to equal one year, okay? So we're going to use some of this information in our next lessons. Let's go through it together. 60 seconds equals one minute. 60 minutes equals one hour. 24 hours equals one day. Seven days equals one week. Four weeks equals one month. Twelve months equals one year. Very nice job, friends. Okay, all our friends have their worksheets with the clocks on them from our previous lesson. So we only did a few examples. We're going to keep working on some different examples of time for our worksheet. So our friends are getting their colored pencils out. You can use a different hand, different color for each hand if you like. Or if you just want to use your pencil, that's okay too. What number goes on the top of our clock? What number goes at the top of our clock? Zero. Zero. Twelve. 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 What number goes at the very bottom of our clock? Six. Six. Is that our bottom? And then we can fill in everything else in between. Yeah, good. Okay, friends, think about our hour hand. Is that short or long, our hour hand? Short. Our hour hand is our shortest hand. Okay, our hour hand is our shortest hand. We'll put it in red, so if you'd like to choose one color for your hour hand, 
and a different color for your minute hand and your second hand. That's cool. Okay, our minute hand, is that long or shorter than the hour hand? Long. No. What do you think, friends? No. Long. Yeah, it's longer than our hour hand. <laughs> what other hand do we have? Long. We've got one more. Second. Our second. How long is our second hand? It's our longest one. It's our longest one. Good. I'm glad. Okay, friends. Everybody, shh. For our next clock, you're going to show me 345. 345. So think about your hour and your minute first. 345. And 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. yep. Do your next clock. 345 and 30 seconds. 345 and 30 seconds. Which one is your hour hand? Which one is your hour hand? Mm -hmm. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So 3.45 and 30 seconds. Lakau is going to show us what that looks like on her clock. Lakau is going to show us what it looks like on our clock. Three forty-five. Double check and see if that's what your times look like. What's the red hand? What? Our hour, a minute, or our seconds? What's the red hand? Is that our hour hand, or our minute hand, or our second hand? Hour hand. Yeah, it's our shortest one. Our minute hand is a little longer. And our second hand is the longest one. Very nice. All the way down to the bottom. What number is that second hand pointing at? Six. Six. Why is it pointing at the six? Thirty. Mm -hmm. Because we have 30 seconds down there. Great job. So we've got three, 45, and 30 seconds. So if we see it on a digital clock, it might look like this. If we see it on a clock, it'll look like this with the hand. Okay, everybody got that one? Okay, your next time is 5.15. 5.15. So think about your hour and your minute first. 5.15 and 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. 5.15 and 30 seconds. Where does 30 point to? There you go. You want to show us? Pan Pan, you want to come show us on the board? Okay. 5.15 and 30 seconds. Here's our hand. Five fifteen, here you go. Minute hand. Five fifteen. I like how long it is, but our minute hand, five fifteen. Fifteen. Hold on, let's count by fives. Five. Five. Ten. Fifteen. We need that pointing at the three. I know what you're thinking of. That'll come next. So our minute hand, we want to point to the three. Very nice, because we count five, ten, fifteen. And now our second hand, where does that go? 
Ten. There you go, down to that six, and it's our longest one. <laughs> Great job, very nice work, friends. So double check and make sure 5.15 and 30 seconds looks like how Pang Pong drew it for us. Everybody got it? Yeah. Okay. Our next time is going to be 7.30. 7.30 and 20 seconds. 7.30 and 20 seconds. So think about your hour and your minute first. 7.30. Get that down and then add your second hand. 20 seconds. 7.30 and 20 seconds. You got it. 7.30, start with 7.30. And then get 20 seconds. Very nice. Yeah, you got it. You got it. 7.30, do you want to show us? Okay. 7.30. Seven thirty. You can bring your paper if you want. <coughs> Start with our hour hand. If, if. Yeah, that, you got it. You're good. Seven thirty and twenty seconds. So we want our short hour hand first. Good. Think about what hand is this? This is our hour hand. Oh. Hour hand. We need 7.30. Can you change this? 7.30. Our short hour hand. Where is that pointing? Mm -hmm. That's it. You can change it. Okay. Let's go. 7.30. Do your hour hand first. Hour hand first. Hold on. Look at your paper. Your hour hand is first. It's our shortest one, and it's pointing at the seven for 7.30. Very nice. Hour hand. Here's our minute hand. Show us where the 30 goes. Mm-hmm, right on that six. Good, and it's nice and long. So we've got 7.30, and now we need 20 seconds. There it is, that one's on the four. And it's nice and long, okay, good job. Friends, double check and make sure that your numbers, our clock looks like this before she erases. 7.30 and 20 seconds. Okay, got it? Yeah. All right, the next time is 10.45. 10.45. And 15 seconds. 10.45 and 15 seconds. Very nice. Good work. 10.45 and 15 seconds. Looking good. 10.45 and 15 seconds. Very nice. 10.45. Mm -hmm. Start with your hour and your minute. Change your 15 seconds, good. 10.45 and 15 seconds, good job. 10.45 and 15 seconds. Can you show us what that looks like? Yeah. So remember friends, always start with your hours and minutes first. 10.45, here's for the hour hand. Our short hour hand. <laughs> Very nice. Pointing right at our 10. 
45. And let's use blue for our match. Here you go. 45? Mm-hmm. 10.45. <laughs> what number does 45 point at? Nine. Nine. Good. And how many seconds do we have? Fifteen. Fifteen seconds. What number should we point to for 15? Three. Three. Nice job. Nice job. All right, great work, friends. Double check that you've got this clock on your paper. Everybody got it? Yeah. Okay. Your next time is 7.15. Seven fifteen and thirty seconds. So think about seven fifteen, your hour and minute hand first. Seven fifteen and seconds, thirty seconds. Seven fifteen, thirty seconds. Our hour and our minute first, and then our second hand. 7.15 and 30 seconds. Great work. Do you want to show us? Yeah. Yes, that looks great. That looks great. 7.15 and 30 seconds. Start with red. Our hour hand. That one's red. Yeah. You want me to hold the other one? Yeah, I'll hold those for you. <laughs> so like 7.15, very nice, got our 7, here comes our 15, what number does it point to for 15? 3, good, 7.15 and 30 seconds. Yeah. Great job, friends. Very nice, Peng Pong. Double check that this is how your clock looks for 7.15 and 30 seconds. Seven fifteen and 30 seconds. Our seven, three for 15, and six for 30. <laughs> and 100. <laughs> Ready for the next one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Our next time is going to be 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock and 13, 13 seconds. Sure. <laughs> so we have 11 o'clock and 13 seconds. 13 or 15? 13. 13. Let's try 13. It's close to 15. Why not? Let's give it a shot. No, 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 no. Right, finish. 11 o'clock and 13. Good. Where's your. Is this your hour? That's our second at the 13. Here's our hour at 11. Where's our minutes? And how do we show o'clock? Yep, straight up top. Straight up top. I'll let you draw the next one, okay? That looks great. That looks great. And check your seconds one more time. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, Lacko is going to show us 11 o'clock and 13 seconds. It looks like a lot of our friends got it. They weren't thrown off by that 13 instead of a 15, so that's great. So 11 o'clock and 13 seconds. Where will our hour hand point at? Where will our hour hand point at for 11 o'clock? Paper friends, where will that hour hand point for 11 o'clock? Hour hand. Peng Pan, where's your hour hand going to point? Hour. Yeah, 
at 11. Okay, our hour hand points at 11. Okay, Let me, I'll hold those so it's a little easier. Our minute hand. Where does our minute hand point to? We need 11 o'clock. Our minute hand, 11 o'clock. Our minute hand. How do we show o'clock? There it is. Straight up. That's fine. Okay. And our second hand. Show us where our second hand goes. Right to our 13. Very nice, friends. We've got 11 o'clock. Thank you. And 13 seconds. Make sure your clock looks like this one. We've got one more time that we're going to show. Okay, our last time, friends. Last time. Last time. You're going to show 10, 45 again. 10, 45. So we're going to do our hour and our minute first. 10.45. And 30 seconds. So we want 10.45. 30 seconds. How is that going to look? 10.45 and 30 seconds. Good. Good job, friends. Ten forty-five, thirty seconds. Do your hour and your minute first. Yeah, very nice. Okay, you wanna do it? Okay, Pack Boom's gonna show us and make sure we've got it right. Start with our short hour hand. Ten forty-five and thirty seconds. How is that going to look? Ten. Use blue for a minute. Here you go. No, no, no. 45. Very nice. Pointing at the nine. And second hand in black. Great job. So we've got 10.45 and 30 seconds. Great work. Make sure you're Time, your last time looks like 10.45 and 30 seconds like this. And let's have everybody stand up. We'll take a little stretch break now. So stand up nice and tall. Push in your chair. <laughs> and stretch your arms up high over your head. Stretch out all your fingers. Put your arms in a T. And touch your nose. Mm. Put your arms in a T and ta ta touch your toes. Touch your toes, come up halfway. Swing your monkey arms like they're very heavy. Very nice. Good job, friends. Stand up nice and tall. Let's practice growing. Show me how we start to grow. We start small. Get in a small ball. You're going to grow a little bit. Grow a little bit more and grow. Great job. You can grow like Supergirl if you like. Get small. Or a tree. That's a great idea. Get as small as you can and grow a little bit. Grow a little bit more and grow. Very nice job, friends. Excellent growing. So start small. Start small. You're going to grow a little bit. Grow a little bit more and grow. Wonderful job, friends. Let's do three big claps. Three big jumps. Three big steps. Three big spins. Great job. Three little claps. 
three little steps. Three little jumps. And three little spins. <laughs> Very nice, friends. Okay, everybody take a seat. So we're going to finish our lesson with some of the information we were thinking about before. So how many seconds in one minute? How many? Sixty. Yeah, good job. And how many minutes in one hour? Sixty again. Sixty again. One hour. How many days or how many hours in one day? You got it. Twenty-four hours is one day. Seven what? Equals what? Equal Good. And four weeks. Excellent job. Four weeks equals what? Equals one month. One month. One month. Very nice. Do you remember our last one? Twelve months. Good. Twelve months. Very nice job, friends. 12 months equals one year. So let's go over them together and we'll put our times in. How many seconds is one minute? Pang Pan, how many seconds is one minute? How many? 60. 60. Put your eyes up here. Keep your eyes up here. 60. 60 minutes? Or 60 seconds is one minute. 60 seconds is one minute. 60 seconds is one minute. Good. How many minutes in one hour? 60. 60. 60 minutes in one hour. 60 minutes in one hour. Everybody practice. 60 minutes in one hour. How many hours in one day? Seven. Seven hours? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. That's cool. Twenty-four hours in one day. Twenty-four hours in one day. Very nice. How many days in a week? Seven. Seven days in a week. Good. Seven days is one week. Seven days is one week. Good. How many weeks are in one month usually? Twelve weeks? That's cool. I know what you're thinking. Four weeks. We've got about four weeks in one month. Four weeks is one month. Four weeks is one month. And how many months? Twelve. Twelve. Good. Twelve months equal what? Equal a year. A year. Good. Twelve months equals one year. 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 Very nice job, friends. Okay. We're going to play a short game where you're going to get a flashcard, and it's going to say some of these times or some of these times. So you're going to need to look at your card. And everyone's going to stand up and see if you can find a match. So if my card says this, what is this? One year. One year. Who am I looking for to be my partner? Yeah, I'm looking for 12 months to be one year, OK? So that's the idea, friends. Everyone's going to get different cards. So look at your cards. You're welcome. Look at your cards. Try to think about what you might match with. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, hey, take a look at your card. Everybody stand up. Don't put your card in your mouth. Just hold it nicely. Just hold it nicely and look around and see if you can find a match with your time for your partner. Who's your partner? Find your partner. Find your partner. Okay, so who do you need to look for? You need to look for someone that has four weeks. 
Okay, so look around. Look around. What do you have? Okay, friends, you need to look for someone who has an equal time for as you. You can check on the board. Okay. Check it out. 60 seconds, okay. 60 seconds is up top here. You need to look for someone, too. Two. You need to look for someone with one minute. Okay. Okay. So, buddy, you need to look for someone with one minute. If you have your partner, come stand over here. Get your partner. Tell us what you have, guys. Very nice. Pen, pen, and let go. Go up front. Show us what you have, guys. You can go back to your desk. Pen. Good. Next. Very nice. Show us what you have, girls. Very good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Turn around. 60 seconds equals what? One minute. One minute. Good job, boys. Okay, Nadia and Nid. Great job, friends. Very nice work. Very nice work. Okay, so you can play that game for the rest of the lesson. We will be playing it again in another review. So we are going to say goodbye for now. Thanks for joining us on our math lesson today. Everyone say goodbye. Bye.